Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit the little subscribe and the bell so you get notified every time I post some new content. And if it resonates, shoot me a little thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why. I want to say thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribes, donations. Thank you for all the love and the support. It does not go unnoticed and I appreciate every single one of you and just for being here and catching a vibe. Alright, so... Um, by this point, it is going to be August, <laughs> so, uh, my readings are 40% off until the end of August, okay, just for the month of August, I do this quarterly, so three times a year, uh, one for my birthday, August, I'm a life path eight, you know, and then, um, 12 for my 12th house placements, no, I'm just kidding about, like, uh, for Christmas, so, um, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Anyway, yeah, so what are we talking about today? Uh, oh, if you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box, one on one. I'll never message you for a reading, so just be aware of scammers. And um, congratulations to whoever the free reading giveaway winner for last month was. And yeah, so we are talking about <laughs> what happens when people do you dirty okay in any way shape or form okay this has either happened to people or this is what will happen if people are doing you dirty now or plan on doing you dirty at any point in time all right <clears throat> this could also be like a specific person we don't know it's not that intention if you want to know like what happened to a person that uh did you dirty and like what's happening to them okay either way if whatever comes out i don't know what's gonna come out okay so <laughs> buckle up so we have three piles today. We have pile number one, which is the Dream Keepers Tarot. Pile number two, which is the Moon and Stars Tarot. And pile number three, which is the Black Tarot. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Well, I'll see you on the pile that you picked. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> Bye. What's up, pile one? It's your girl, Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are indeed new here, hit the little subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if this resonates, shoot me a little thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribe, super likes, donations. Thank you for everything that y'all do. My readings are 40% off until the end of August 2024. Take advantage of that if you feel called to. Okay, I do it four, uh, three times a week. I do it quarterly. Three times a week. <laughs> three times a year. So April, August, and December. So, you know, choose whenever. Because <laughs> we like discounts, you know? Why not? So, and it's always a show of gratitude, you know what I'm saying? To celebrate the fact that you guys trust me and, you know... I want to help y'all out too. Like the fuck? <laughs> Shit. All right, we're gonna. This is not even the deck I'm supposed to be using. <laughs> we're gonna get your current energy to see if this is your pile. Okay. Keep in mind that thousands of people are watching, so not every message may resonate for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't let these messages take from you. If this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader, do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. You have a lot of burdens that you are releasing. And because of that, you're actually going to be looking better and feeling better. It's going, you're like, you're going to be going through a glow. It's giving when I was super stressed at one point and I was like, <sighs> partying too hard. And then I was taking Adderall because I had to go to work and it helped me. And then I also became addicted and I looked like trash. Like my face was caving in because I wasn't eating. It was like, I look like a druggie pretty much. <laughs> okay, let's be fucking for real. <laughs> Cause I like night you're, you're, you're drinking, you're smoking, you're doing all this, you're eating like trash. It's when I worked at Wendy's. It was just like, I looked like trash. <laughs> and as I left that life, um, I started to glow up. Yeah, look, nourishment. As I started to eat healthier and nourish my mind, body and soul and actually rest and sleep and shit. I continue to look better so I feel like you know whatever stressful thing that has been going on it's kind of been taking a toll on your mental physical and emotional health and also even making you look like drained and exhausted you're gonna be um, releasing that if you have not already and then you're gonna be looking better it's like you're gonna go through a glow up and then you're gonna be like whoa how did this happen because you're no longer being drained or you have the time and the energy to rest and you're not like taking on stresses from other people and shit like that or you maybe some of y'all had an energy vampire because i was surrounded by energy vampires and shit like that okay <clears throat> random tidbit 
<laughs> what is pile number one's current energy? Thank you. <laughs> we have release Scorpio energy coming through. Sagittarius as well. And then we have beginnings. Bitch. <laughs> Sorry. You see this? Do you see this energy? You're making a decision with this two energy. Oh my god, I'm sorry, my OCD is killing me. Because, like, I don't know, it looks crooked, and it's like, if it is, I'm sorry, but, like, the way the camera's set up, it's, like, weird. And my eyes are deceiving me. Eh. Okay, so let's talk about this. You're releasing something, like I said. You're releasing something, someone. This thing was really, really holding you back, okay? You were re receiving intuitive downloads in regards to this okay this is coming to an end you're 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 ending and you're starting a new life a new beginning yeah you had trouble surrendering to the fact that the truth of the matter is, is if you don't release this if you don't let go of whatever this is and just surrender to the fact that you have to and that like you know what no matter what happens like you enjoyed whatever it was it was in your life for a reason or you had to forgive yourself whatever it is like you just had to let go and uh, now you have a new beginning coming in, okay? The next new moon is relevant. Um, that's also going to be close to the Lion's Gate portal, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be close to the Lion's Gate portal, um, or at least around it, because it usually is every year. But um, take advantage of manifesting. If it's on the same day, that would be so dope. I actually have no idea. But um, you're manifesting a new beginning. A new beginning, a new life and um whatever was like lack okay whatever was lackluster cold is is finally you're getting out of your winter and you're stepping into your summer and it's not to say that you guys were going through like a lot some of you it's different for all of you some of you guys you were going through trash some of you guys you were super drained super this super that going through heavy shit some of you guys you were just like i i, I want to like move on from this life but you had to release one or two things before like you were already ready you were already grounded you were already surrendered you you have already done the work it's just this one thing was holding you back I heard yourself it was because you were supposed to do something differently and you never did and now you finally started to do that some of you guys you haven't yet and you're about to but like because you started to do something differently or you changed one thing everything's about to change and it's gonna be a whole new life and it's all because or be proud of yourself too because you released a lot all throughout your life and I feel like you know this stuck and stagnant part was just so that you could really just rest so you know things are gonna be speeding up so take advantages of this like slow period 555 because things are about to change for you so if that resonates at all hard very quickly <laughs> let's get into your reading all right pile number one let's see we're gonna get some from my written deck uh and then we're gonna get some from this deck and then we're gonna get some tarot to close you up what happens to pile Number one, no, what happened? Well, okay, so things happen to you too when people do you dirty. Uh, we'll get into it. But what happens to people when they do pile one dirty? <gasps> Excuse me. Okay, the back of the deck we have moving so it's like you just level up you move on when people do you dirty it's like they want you to um yeah because it's like you're so positive and these people want to get you out of character one 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 it's like they they think that doing you dirty is gonna make you like show your hand like yeah this person is not all that they said they were or all not the not all that they cracked up to be cracked up to be not cracked up to be <laughs> as like people want you to like blow your lid or people want you to get mad and instead you just ignore because your intuition is like oh they'll get theirs <laughs> i'm not worried about it i'm not the one who's gonna bring the karma it's like these people expect you to turn into this dark energy right and then like it's like them doing this to you doing you dirty it's like they want to trigger you they want to do you dirty uh on purpose you've had a lot of people wanted to do you dirty on purpose because of the fact that they wanted to trigger you 
because they wanted you to stoop to their level they wanted you to show your darkness right and even if you do have darkness i feel like you've integrated that and it's like <clears throat> people cannot get you out of character you're unbothered okay you're unbothered you're unfazed and some of y'all when people do you dirty you either move you travel okay you end up um going on vacation for some of you we have looking you up studying you getting information and researching you so when people do you dirty they end up having to see you everywhere okay they end up trying to look you up and then see you study you learn how did you like it's like all they can do is see you online and they're constantly reminded of you and moving and moving on are you kidding me like literally when they do you dirty they'll never have access to you again you move on with a quickness okay when people do you dirty sometimes they get dirty okay sometimes they get um physical ailments for for you guys like they get hit with karma in regards to physical ailments i mean not just what this says because it says sexual infection sexual disease rash but it could even be like them getting sick breaking out notice i said breaking some like phys physically they get hurt physically they go through ailments okay like they start i don't know what it is but like maybe your team beats them up or what like i don't fucking know the, the karma is like they get beat up physically like and I don't mean beat up, but like beat up by the universe, okay? Their mental health may deteriorate. They may get sick, illnesses, all this other shit, sexual diseases, um, all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? They start falling, getting hurt by things and stuff like that. It's crazy. But that's what happens. And then we have stalker, obsessed, watching. So yeah, like I said, they have to watch you. They watch you and then they, they just get to see that you're unbothered, unfazed while their life is kind of just you know getting hit with like all this negativity and shit like that and you're just moving on ignoring this looking all relaxed like this cat just chilling out cooling and shit like you're fine like that's what happens it's like you just you just be doing the best <laughs> and they they get stuck dealing with that bullshit that they sent out to you because they did you dirty all right let's see what else we can get from this written deck or should i do the i'm gonna grab the other written deck because they told me to so Let's see. I might use both. Ugh. These also have, this one has confirmations as well. So it could just be random confirmations in regards to who did you dirty or I don't know. Okay, we're going to see. <laughs> so what happens to the people who do pile one dirty, please? Okay, what happens to the people? We'll do pile one dirty okay on the back of the deck we have the third house so they could be a gemini but yeah social media like they see you on social media you end up going on trips because we have short trips okay it could have been neighbors who did you dirty um siblings people in your community and stuff like that we have social activities it's like you continue to stay social you continue to you know move on and what happens to them is their mind their thinking maybe it goes negative you step into your god goddess energy you move on you heal you do better you look better you feel better and these people deteriorate physically and mentally like they get hit on all rounds um we have round face french braids rainbow rainbow hair green hair a lot of confirmations for you guys heart chakra so your heart chakra opens up and you heal you start to love on yourself more because you transmute their negative energy that's kind of crazy we have raised eyebrows we have it's time to meditate so what happens is you know you really focus on yourself you start to find peace with this it's time to meditate frequencies you heal you sit in silence you breathe through it you know what i'm saying you don't overthink it you don't get stuck in your head and because you don't do that that energy has to go somewhere so it goes back to them hairless body that's random as fuck maybe they lose their hair some people might lose their hair when they do you dirty 
we have vampire diaries coming through so i feel like um certain people may end up manifesting vampire energy vampires but also it's like the people who do you did you dirty you were like a diary to them you listened to them you were a helping hand to them you gave them advice you helped them so much and now it's like you're ignoring them you don't talk to them they were studying you getting information from you and now it's like they don't have that access anymore and it's like fucking them up we have big feet good smelling perfume or cologne you look better you smell better you feel better Kashik records you level up psychically as well it says they won the battle but uh they won the battle but lost the war they end up losing the war we literally have stalker and obsessed twice so they become stalkers they become obsessed with you and never to have access to you again twerk it very interesting i guess you just move on you move on you you f have fun okay maybe your bum gets a little bigger your body gets a little sexier we have beach waves so that could be like your hair but they also could have beach waves but you also could just you know go to the beach and go on vacation big emphasis on that we have goatee beard light eyelashes thick dark uh, eyebrows <laughs> someone could have like blonde eyelashes tatted up this person could be tatted up, but we also have um, new tattoo alert. Someone could be getting a new tattoo. Maybe you get new tattoos or, you know what I'm saying, you move on and you end up like, it's like cutting your hair. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just leave them behind and you have to pay attention to your dreams. You haunt their dreams. <laughs> when people do you dirty, you haunt their dreams. You haunt their dreams. Yes, you do. You want me to get some from the other one too or nah? Yeah. So, let's see. One second, guys. I'm gonna clear it up. Shoop, 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 shoop. And let's get a couple from this before we. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're dropping everything. Yeah, I feel like when people do you dirty, they don't think that you're gonna drop them and then all of a sudden it comes to a shock. It's like a gut punch. And then they're like, cause you know, I feel like they've done so many people dirty and people just keep them in their life. Or they did you dirty so many times and you kept forgiving them and then one day you said enough is enough and it shocked them. All right, what else can we get in regards to what happens to people when they do you dirty? What happens to people when they do you dirty? Right. Alright. Back of the deck. It says people are in secret competition with you. Someone has option, other options, hassles, competition, disagreement. So what happens, because this is a five of wands energy. What happens to people when they do you dirty is that they end up getting so much more conflict in their life. They end up having more fights with people. They end up finding out people did them dirty and were in competition with them. Or they end up finding that someone else is talking to people or they get like cheated on and stuff like that. It's so fucking random. Yeah, it's like they just get into disagreements with people. So what happens when people do you dirty is you become more sexy, you become more of a boss, okay? And uh, more people want to make a move on you. You even, some of y'all, you made a business after someone did you dirty or your business started booming or your business will boom after people do you dirty. We have the Knight of Swords coming through and it says, think your actions through wisely. Someone may come into your life and hurt your feelings with a blunt truth. So when people get... When people do you dirty, they end up getting the blunt truth. Like, people will not agree with what they do. And people end up giving them a hard truth and being like, Yeah, you, what, it, what you did was shysty. Or like, I can't be friends with you anymore because of what you did to Pa One. Or whatever it is. And then that's where these disagreements, this argument. It's like, people start coming at whoever did you dirty. And it's like, they start receiving mad conflict with people. Because they didn't think their, their actions through wisely. Okay? We have 
the temperance. You are the creator of your reality. Balance is needed to improve your life and your health. Your health and your life starts to improve. You find balance because they're no longer in your life after they did you dirty. And you start becoming a conscious creator, which a lot of y'all, you're, you're in this energy. Like the people who did you dirty, they're just watching you create your reality and, and you're manifesting success. Look at the magician. Someone is trying to manipulate you. So people come in to start arguing with them people start trying to manipulate them after they did you dirty they get into toxic relationships friendships your success is inevitable pot one you are destined for success but it's like these people did you dirty and now they have to just watch it some of you, world travels again i'm telling you some of y'all be traveling eight of cups ask yourself if i walk away will life get better literally you walked away and your life got better these people did you dirty okay or if someone does you dirty your life just gets better every single time. Rejection is divine protection. You dodge the bullet. You literally dodge bullets. I'm sorry for your loss. Someone is sad and can't stop crying. So someone... Okay. So someone... This could be about someone specific, but... Um, people are very sad. Things happen. People pass on. Like, crazy shit like that happens. But it's not about, like, you making that happen or your guides making that happen. It's just divine alignment. It's just that's how the way the way it works. It's like they just get hit with hardship after hardship. Um, things that were inevitable come in quicker. That's so random. We have the Three of Swords. Like, Five of Cups and Three of Swords. Sheesh. You may be feeling heartbroken or lonely. Yeah, people go through, like, isolation. They go through, you know, loneliness. They start getting betrayed. Because, look, it says someone is cheating on you. Third-party situation. I was literally getting that with someone has other options. Like, they get cheated on. Especially if they cheated on you. Oh, my God. Then we have the Empress. Someone is pregnant. Twins. Ha! <laughs> You're eth ethereally attractive. We also have abundance coming through. You just become more glowy. You just become more handsome, more beautiful. Whatever it is. And then also someone may get cheated on this is so specific but someone possibly che got cheated on and the person who cheated on them got pregnant all right someone got pregnant or something like that or they cheated on you and then they got someone pregnant and now they're in a karmic uh you know connection with the karmic baby mama or baby father we have five of pentacles holy crap we have five 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 like they got all the challenges <laughs> wasn't i saying this ill health hard times rejection i don't know who you are but like people get fucked up for fucking with you someone is going through hardship and lack someone might steal from you so some people get like robbed okay they get um it's like the good times get robbed from them. The light from their eyes get robbed from them because they just get hit with sadness, torture, like so much, okay? And then we have strength, patience, the courage to end the cycle. Don't be cocky, okay? These people, they get humbled real quick. And you end up ending this cycle. You ended these cycles or you always end the cycle and you move on. And that's why you don't have this karma happen to you because you decide to just heal and move forward so keep doing that don't enact any kind of karma because this will happen to you if you do that just so you know um let's get into your tarot let's close you out all right pile number one wow knowing what i know about you not that i would do anyone dirty because i wouldn't you know what i'm saying never on purpose you know what i'm saying because why would you but i would never do you dirty <laughs> you know what i'm saying because like holy people get messed up messed up like with i don't know who's on your team or what you're what you're connected to who you're connected to how many past lives you've had you have a high spiritual rank in the other side and like you you are very connected like one with the universe which is why immediately when people do you dirty the universe fights back it's like you know how like <laughs> humanity is like destroying the world and now like you know animals and all this other stuff is like happening mother nature is fighting back and stuff it's like that you know but like for you <laughs> you feel me okay so we have the knight of swords the devil we have the the lovers and then the um five of wands wow and then we also have the moon the world and the ten of wands and the eight of wands so what happens is these people and you don't see this with this page of swords in the reverse you will never see people get their karma okay because you don't need to you don't need to but this is just what happens okay 
just know that this is your confirmation in regards to never enact karma allow people to do whatever it is that they did forgive them because they know not what they have done <laughs> okay they didn't know what they signed up for pray for them that's it um we have the eight of wands okay you transform and you let go and these people they they try to hold you back you end up blossoming you end up blooming and um they you release them they can't hold you back anymore and uh they end up going through a karmic cycle where they end up being with somebody who causes delays in their life while your life speeds up okay knight of swords the devil these people literally when they do um you dirty they end up um jumping back to old habits old patterns toxic people okay it's because we have the lovers and then the devil it could even be that the relationships in their life they turn toxic they end up fighting because that's what we were saying earlier okay their reputation goes to poo poo okay it's like this emphasis on like everyone's out to get them or that's how they feel it's not even that they are it's just that that's how things that's what they're attracting because of that energies that they put out but also because karmic justice needs to be enacted and invoked um fear massive amounts of fear disillusion they get confused they don't know what to work on where to go they're confused about their relationships they psych themselves out they end up getting drained they end up becoming addicted not only to watching you on social media and watching your success while their demise is happening and instead of like you know trying to focus on themselves and like fixing their life they end up focusing on you it's like did you not learn? You should probably just let go and focus on yourself. Then they end up gaining more burdens. Some of them end up like their body ends up changing. It's like if they were talking mad shit about you, like saying that you were like, okay, this is a hypothetical. Like say someone's like, oh my God, they're so fat, blah, blah, blah. They're so, uh, then they end up, you end up losing the weight. Whatever they say about you or do to you or whatever it is, it gets done to them, literally. <laughs> they said that you're fat and talk all this other shit blah 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 then they end up gaining mad weight right or if they say you're ugly they end up like getting a scar on their face and they start to feel ugly because it's not about what others feel it's about how they feel about themselves so it's like it's just weird i don't know how to explain this but i hope you get what i'm saying because this is just nuts okay they end up getting angry at the world they end up seeing the world in a darker light and um they have to look themselves in the mirror and take accountability and realize that they need to end things and change and become more grounded they become really ungrounded they become really unstable they get a little psychotic some of them go a little crazy crazy cuckoo okay like i'm not gonna lie the people who do you dirty they end up getting a little tapped because look at this like look at her face bro okay there's nothing like you can really see anyway oh you know what it's fine she just looks crazy okay like crazy eyes over here they end up just losing their mind and some of them think it's like you're attacking them when in reality you have no idea what's going on with them so they like try to attack you even more okay <clears throat> or, or talk shit about you even more especially if this is like spiritual stuff like somebody who did you dirty on a spiritual level or like tried to put magic voodoo hoodoo on you they think that you're fighting back when in reality you ain't doing shit they're getting hit with their own shit Okay, but that's where we're going to call it, pal number one. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Ooh, bye. What up, pal two? It's your girl, Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. Uh, remind me to never do pal one dirty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, never do anyone dirty. But, like, pal one, whoever does pal one dirty is crazy. Because, holy crap. <laughs> It was intense. So if you are new here, hit that little subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, shoot me a little thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why. My readings are 40% off until the end of August 2024. So take advantage of that. I do do that three times a year. So fret not. You can always try again, December or April. So let's get it. We're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. Keep in mind that thousands of people are watching, so not every message is going to resonate for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't let these messages take from you, okay, baby? If it doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Do whatever makes you happy. All right, let's get it. Pile number one's... Nope, pile two's current energy. Some of y'all could have come from pile two. I mean, pile one. Wow. <laughs> pile two. Pile two's current energy, please. Thank you. 
Okay. We have two. Boundaries. Your boundaries are bringing your manifestations into fruition. Okay? This is divinely guided. Your boundaries are going to make people extremely unhappy. Trigger people. You also have people who are obsessed with you. Every bit of you. Not like, um... Well, some in a negative way, but I do feel like just like you have a lot of fans, pal, too. You have a lot of admirers that keep a mask, and but they watch your social media. And it's like maybe some of them could be sexually obsessed with you. Um, this person has a nice back and it's all sweaty, okay? <laughs> so somebody could be sweating the shit out of you right now. Like literally just like, oh my god, look at pal, too. Like when you, when you post on social media and stuff. But they would never hit you up. They would just like to watch you from a distance. Maybe one day they will because they're thirsting for you. We always have this cup right here with the condensation on it. Uh, but yeah, the what you don't see because there's this mask over here. You do not see that. You have a lot of abundance about to flood to you for the month of August or the month of whatever, whenever you're watching this. Like this is going to be a very abundant month for you. Okay. And if you're at the end of the month, then that next month, okay, the next 30 days from whenever you're watching this is going <laughs> to, I heard a flip, like it's going to flip you like for a loop because it's going to be like what it's going to be extreme like you're just going from one to the other like red to blue like hot to cold okay but like not in that aspect but i mean it's just like that drastic of a you know what i'm saying <laughs> like change and um you deserve this you are worthy of this and a lot of boundaries are going to be attempted to be crossed and uh masks will come off and people are going to show how angry they are but like right now is the time for you to have firm boundaries do not let people deplete you bleed you dry focus on yourself focus on your habits drink your water make sure that you stay grounded make sure that you cleanse your energy constantly because you have a lot of admirers and a lot of people everyone's pulling on your energy pal too it's kind of crazy <sighs> okay do an egg cleanse hex breaker uh get some cleansing sprays florida water whatever it is do something get some palo santo i don't know bro because <laughs> and just keep your prayers up okay stay prayed up because like i don't know why people are so infatuated with you probably because you're an amazing person but you know there's something going on where it's like you're going through this glow up you're manifesting more abundance but you're also manifesting more eyes and a lot of people could be haters low-key and upset that you're moving on from them and then others are kind of just very infatuated with you very sexually drawn to you want to be your friend want to get close to you blah 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 it doesn't matter uh, a lot of people have the hots for you and a lot of people are going to be trying to manifest you but again this is why you have to have boundaries because so many people and you're already going to be extremely busy if you're not already because i'm telling you if you, especially if you're an entrepreneur if you're a business owner or something like that sales is going to be boosted you're going to have more clients there's something about like you just getting really really busy really new opportunities collaborations is coming in so much stuff that you have no idea and that's why people are going to be obsessed with you too because they're going to be obsessed with watching your journey there's something about you vlogging coming through too some of you guys may start vlogging and that's why you're going to have a new fan base uh from that situation as well or someone could go viral because of a video that they were doing when they're vlogging and then all of a sudden they make that into their career there's something about sixth house virgo coming through as well your health is going to be improving and make sure that you eat enough fruits and veggies and again drink your water but if that resonates at all let's get into your reading all right pile um to buckle up get your tea get your coffee get your water we uh are using three different decks to see what's good um in regards to what happens to people when they do you dirty okay whether it's a specific person or just everyone in general whoever i don't freaking know we're gonna see what happens so what happens to people when they do pile too dirty <laughs> you give them a lot to think about they end up losing money wow wow people end up losing money okay i think that's enough oh one more there we go okay we got digging dirt <sighs> digging up them holes stanley stanley yell nats coming through every time i see this card right and uh what happened you and your family will be cursed for always in eternity <laughs> Yzma too because she ended up getting turned into a cat right because the lady who does um that voice for holes also does the voice for Yzma if you did not know now you know random tidbit 
But moral of the story is, is that like they they get fudged over. They get some kind of curse that stays with them, and it might affect their um, generations. It's like they created a generational curse by doing you dirty. That's intense. Holy crap. Okay. Too busy winning. Wow, you end up really winning. You end up becoming more successful and they just have to watch you and continue to dig dirt while watching you. And then they end up digging themselves into a hole because they get obsessed with you and keep preying on your downfall, right? And then they end up losing track of their goals, their dreams and aspirations because they're so focused that you are winning and they're losing. But in reality, all they need to do is just let go and move on from you like dodge a bullet so you end up dodging bullets when people do you dirty you never allow people on that same energy back again so you end up keeping your circle clean you end up having a, a nose a radar for um freaking that kind of energy so you never really get played again okay and also you're just protected they ended up protecting you and then you end up escaping the crazies that could co potentially come in because you learned your lesson from the people who did you dirty and now these people are getting hit with the bullets that you dodged so they end up attracting crazy people negativity um haters getting hated on for no reason dust it off okay very interesting so you end up dusting it off and bouncing back very quickly like especially if they did something and it really messed with you for a little bit like it really broke your heart yeah you be down and out for a little bit but you just uh you just dust it off okay we got love on the brain you know some of them never fall out of love with you and it really hurt, hurts their heart and they end up you know always being nostalgic daydreaming fantasizing of what could have been but never will be it's like they snap back to reality and then they really just get into a negative mindset because of the fact that that'll never happen and they know it'll never happen because you will always block them or they could be blocked and the only way they can watch you is through a fake account <laughs> we've played uh played out so you end up moving on you end up actually improving your health okay you end up becoming more responsible and these people just get played out people end up leaving them behind it's like when they do you dirty you fall out of their life because you pick yourself up you dodge the bullet dodge to bullet you dust off you move on your dreams become reality they end up just daydreaming and not taking any action because they're do too busy focused on you digging dirt on you while you're winning and then they become played out when they really need to be reflecting so you end up finding peace you end up healing and raising your vibration and these people just keep getting worse and worse screenshot getting evidence they just keep they obsess they obsess and it's like they feed you your they feed you their energy but you clear and transmute it and you use it it's like you use their negativity and you for your blessing and it's like you keep that funnel going and it's like they have no idea that they're just giving you money they're giving you success giving you energy giving you so much of their energy which is draining their pockets draining their energy depleting them taking focus from them achieving their goals and dreams and then they learn their life kind of go down goes down the drain and they get played out it's like they could have won they could have won that race, but they're too busy digging dirt on you and focused on you. Spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, your light, magic, power. They end up just... What happens is they end up hating you because they, they blame you for everything when it's their responsibility. And they end up getting beat up. Okay? <laughs> Arguments. Physically getting into fights. Competing with people that will never win. Okay? They, they end up just getting lost in the sauce. Okay? And then they end up getting hit by, you know, what they ever negativity they send. They talk shit. People talk shit about them. It's just a lot of like anything you do to anything they do to you. It's just it gets it gets it, it gets them fucked up. Let's just say that it fudges them the fudge up. All right, let's see what else we can get for pile two from this deck what happens when people do pile two dirty thank you a lot of these people don't know how to take accountability someone could have a southern accent they could have a southern accent okay let's see Okay. 
So these could also be made up of confirmations. Um, all right. And so we have the feeling is the secret. Practice more gratitude. Focus on the feeling in your heart. So you end up becoming more grateful. You end up um, improving your life. Having more to be grateful for after these people do you dirty. It's like you they, they can't stop you. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. They really think that they have an effect on you, but it, it doesn't like no. It just messes them up. So confirmations and stuff. Okay, we have crews, so maybe they're gonna be going they're gonna be going. Maybe you're gonna go on a cruise and then they're gonna have to watch you go on a cruise. Okay, we have dimples. They could have dimples, or maybe you do. Uh, we have third eye chakra. I think their intuition gets blocked when they do you dirty. We have Tokyo. Shout out to Tokyo coming through. Some of y'all may travel to Tokyo. You might like anime, manga. We have white lights, truth, messenger, strength. It's like you know what it is too is people never stop talking about you. That is what happens when people do you dirty. They always, and mind you, these people hate you because we have spiritual haters. So these people end up hating you until they end up doing some reflection, okay? Some people can get out of this. Those who make the conscious decision. I want to point that out. Like, not everyone who did you dirty ends up getting uh, stuck in that hole that they dug themselves. Some people climb out and then they end up getting better. But um, it's all of them, you know? Not everyone makes it out. In this lifetime, at least. But, um, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah, end up getting, like, talked about. Like, they people, like, family or friends are like, oh, whatever happened to Pao Tu? And it's, like, constant. It's constant. It's constant. And they're like, why is everyone talking about Pao Tu? Like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they get so mad. Oh, man. We have RBF, stoic face. You could have an RBF or they could. Okay. I feel like it's you. We have Scorpio heavy because uh, we also have water sign. So it could have been a water sign or you have water sign placements in your chart. We have self-love. Choose peace. Yeah, because you chose peace and it says it's okay to leave whatever is no longer good for you. You left these people who did you dirty and you chose self-love. That's why these people got dirty. Okay, got dirty. Okay, got. Yeah, okay. I guess they got dirty. Uh, we have club nights. So maybe these were people that you went to the club with before we got probation and parole officer so someone might have went to jail bitch anime and manga that's literally what i was talking about that's so funny we drink your water mm -hmm. okay we have flashy vibrant acrylics gel x so you possibly have nails or this person may have flashy nails we have strawberry legs okay maybe you have strawberry legs or they have strawberry legs they could have specific birthmarks we have phone obsessed so maybe this person is literally watching you through their phone obsessively every day but also oh my god yeah we have doom scrolling too you know what it is is they can't um they're so upset with their life that they end up becoming phone obsessed and like doom scroll and bed rot instead of like trying to better themselves and reflecting on like where they are we have mullet so maybe they have a mullet you have a mullet i don't know <laughs> Someone is having naughty thoughts about you. Some of them still have naughty thoughts about you, especially if it's like an ex or something like that. But even like anyone, they end up having like naughty thoughts about you. Or maybe this is why they go through karma because they have naughty thoughts about you. They start having like sex dreams about you and shit. Um, what? So we have kickboxing or boxing. Maybe uh, this person... Uh, I heard you maybe need to do kickboxing or, or boxing or you enjoy that and that really does help you but also it's like fighting like fights happen to people you are meant to be seen known or even famous keep living authentically let them talk do you so you end up what happens to people is you end up doing yourself you let them talk and then you end up becoming more seen more famous more known you live authentically you don't let them stop your shine and that pisses them off accountability is needed some of them do take accountability and they end up getting out of this we have cess worker so some of them be doing illegal shit and some of them get caught because we have police officer again and a uh, parole officer uh what is it the braids we have braids <laughs> coming through uh kendrick lamar okay which makes me think of the drake and kendrick lamar C uh beef and stuff like that um don't you know what i'm saying I like Drake's music, but like, come on, bro. I'm Team Kendrick all day. Um, and Kendrick, yeah, he exposed the shit out of Drake. You cannot tell me he did not. 
And that's what happens is, you know what happens when these people do you dirty? They end up getting exposed. The real them, that spiritual hater that they hid, that they put a mask on, that they tried to block from others seeing, the, block from others seeing them, is like, that's what people end up seeing them and then people end up either walking away from them or what I don't fucking know but it's like they get exposed for how like negative or low vibrational they really are and people act accordingly like how people kind of like was like oh Drake like cuz when I'm, I always come back to that like when Drake was at that concert <laughs> and he was performing and then he got pissed because everyone started singing uh Kendrick Lamar they not like us they not like us okay what else Okay, we got one, two, okay, three, and back of the deck. Someone is a crybaby or being dramatic, emotionally immature. They become emotionally immature more and more. Someone's going to text you or send you a flirty text or DM. So this person who did you dirty may text you um, soon. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. You are finally seeing through someone's bullshit and lies. Speak the truth and it shall set you free. So what happens is that people end up seeing the truth of how shitty a person this person is, or these people, or whatever it is, and then they end up, you know, setting them free. They end up moving on. You will create heaven on earth. Peace is coming to you and your family. So what happens is you end up getting peace and, you know... <laughs> The opposite is said to them because we have your enemies are getting their karma. It's not bad luck, it's your karma. So they might be going through a series of unfortunate events that seems like bad luck to them, but it's really their karma. Okay? Inner child healing. People from your past are coming back. It's like you constantly just keep coming back into their life. They keep getting reminded of you and that's their, their karma for doing you dirty. Okay? The sun. You are a star. <laughs> your confidence is on the rise choose happiness yeah you end up becoming more happy becoming more filled with vitality and energy you become more enlightened you grow better sheesh your hobby could make you wealthy someone is going to give you a gift yeah people end up giving things to you you end up making more money you end up becoming more wealthy more abundant more supported more responsible you just keep growing someone is using you for your resources so what happens to them is it says you are giving too much money time and energy to someone someone is fiending for you they end up fiending for you again be kind of like low-key obsessed with you and they also end up losing money by giving it to people end up using them it's like these people end up manifesting people who end up using them and they get kind of like betrayed by people because of what they did it's like they're begging for people to give them the attention that you gave to them freely you know before they did you dirty and it's like they'll never get that energy again we have obsessed with the devil energy someone is toxic as fuck be cautious sexual trauma or great <sighs> yeah bad things happen to them that's all i'm gonna say from that do with that what you will but definitely like people these people who do you dirty they end up manifesting toxic people toxic relationships some of them even get to the point where it's like they get abused by people and stuff like that okay we also have step up your boundaries don't give up on your dreams you're so close you continue to persevere you continue to be protected you your boundaries protected you from this person now you have the ability to step boundaries up and know when people are doing you dirty or when people have the potential to do you dirty and you'll never get done dirty again okay <laughs> you're never gonna get done dirty again okay we have you can't trust these business partners new collaborations are coming in so what happens with you is you end up manifesting new collaborations people who are trustworthy and these people end up getting you know finessed by others okay people end up you know doing what they did it's like somebody came in your life try to finesse you okay try to play you Try to build your trust by gifting you things and, you know, working with you. When in reality, you could never trust them. You ended up finding that out. You moved on. And now it's like they're manifesting someone who is doing the same to them. Ace of Wands. Someone will be getting it soon. Someone masturbates to you. Big package. Six. Okay. Your life becomes more enthusiastic. You go towards your passions. And we have more confidence coming in again. All right. You become more tapped in more humble but i feel like a lot of people do 
th some of these people get off to the fact of you because with this devil and this ace of wands is like people still may masturbate to you and then these send these energies to you and um that's for like your exes who did you dirty and stuff i mean if you had friends who were like low-key in love with you they may do the same but just take what resonates because that's wild okay but i feel like you got some sex appeal so people could be really like low-key like very attracted to you regardless and um yeah and some of y'all could be having sex soon so let's get into your tarot to close you out all right pile two wow um <laughs> so let's talk about it we have the five of wands chaos we have the death card release we have the strength card bravery we have the nine of pentacles comfort we have the devil obsession we have the ace of wands new beginnings i'm pretty sure we had new beginnings in your current energy too so that tracks and we have the wealth ten of pentacles we have anxiety eight of swords we have the seven of swords with deceit we have the queen of swords independence we have the six of swords heavy air energy i just have to <laughs> um let me calm down they become so stressed um their mental health deteriorates we have movement six of swords and then we have the three of wands communication so they lose all communication with you you cut them off you ignore them even if they like did you dirty and you left on like <clears throat> good terms or whatever like you're like all right well bygones be bygones i have no hate because i don't think you're a hater you're like you just kind of like move on you're like hey it is what it is you know you did you, what you you did what you did but like i'm i don't hate you like i move on and the thing is, is like they think that you'll talk to them so maybe they try to hit you up and then you end up ignoring them or like you know <laughs> it's like you you prove to them that like yeah no you you did enough because i feel like whoever this person is or these people who did you dirty they did it multiple times like constantly to the point where it was like one and done now like now it's one and done like that was the last time was the last straw okay and it was the last straw on the camel's back and it dropped down and that's it you're done so um chaos ensues in their life things start to drop out of their life things start to fall out of their life they become um engulfed in negativity they become engulfed in depression or anxiety they uh have constant miscommunications with people they end up getting um betrayed go through fights okay similar to another pal cheated on and shit like that okay you end up having the courage to go it alone and then you end up getting comfort and wealth we literally have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles it's like you end up traveling you end up manifesting what it is that you want you end up manifesting new beginnings and they just have to watch and become obsessed with this devil energy they become obsessed with you the people who do you dirty become obsessed with you and watch you and they have to watch you succeed and grow and become better craving that wishing and knowing that that could have been them if they never did you dirty or that could have been that and that's to say that they won't become successful and heal it's up to them but like again if they don't release and, and let go of like this constant competition or this constant negativity that they continue to send you because you have just you didn't bat an eye be fucking for real pal too you didn't bat an eye they did you dirty and you just moved on you said well just another tuesday because y'all got betrayed a lot so you're just like whatever you know i'm moving on and you moved on you released it with a quickness it's like it, it's like they were they're dead to you it's like you know what another thing is is like the people who do you dirty uh you see them out in public this is for those who like are still like physically like you can see the people who did you dirty like you could run into them in the streets and shit like that you can walk right by them and you're not pissed off you're not angry it's just like you can't see them like they're a ghost because they are a ghost they're in your past and it's like that triggers the fuck out of them and that's what happens when they do you dirty it's like they see you but they can't be seen by you they don't get acknowledged by you they don't even get they don't even get to trigger you anymore they can't even upset you anymore like you're numb to their attacks you're numb to everything that they try to do towards you and then they end up getting more anxious also they get anxious that they're going to see you out and about or they get anxious that you're going to tell people about their deceit or what they did or you know what i'm saying and that'll bring more drama and chaos into their life but again people end up talking about this 
to them. They're like, okay, so what happened with you and Pal 2? You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't y'all talk? Why don't y'all chill? Why do you guys got beef or whatever it is? And they make up these lies, but then people end up seeing that they're deceitful, and then those people cut them off and move on, and they end up healing and leveling up. And you know what it is? It's like, if this person stop doesn't stop lying to themselves that they are the problem and take accountability, or they, these people, they take accountability for like the way that they're living and taking accountability for the negativity that continues to ensue in their life the toxicity that they continue to manifest because of their hatred towards you okay then they're gonna stay stuck because the people that are moving away from them they're starting to realize people are like yeah pal pa 2 didn't do shit you're being vindicated behind the scenes pal didn't do shit like these people are the problem like i can see why pal 2 moved away from whoever this is because a lot of y'all you just moved away you didn't try to fight you didn't try to you know do anything you just moved away you said block delete move on bye and that's why you have this comfort and wealth you live a comfortable life they have to see this they see that you're stepping into a period of wealth they know that you're destined for wealth they know that you're living a new life a new beginning you're chasing your passions you're just living better and it feels they feel like you're living better than them and you probably are because they're going through a very karmic cycle because they continue to just feed the negativity Whatever. It is what it is. A lot of y'all could have heavy Saturn placements because it's the devil. Uh. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? You released a lot of uh, negativity and a lot of toxicity. Okay, but we also have Leo, Scorpio, uh, Gemini, Libra. Yeah. All right. That's what we're going to call it. Pile number two. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day night or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What up? Pile three. Last but never least. It's your girl, Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are indeed new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, shoot me a little thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why. Thank you guys for all the likes, shares, subscribes, the donations, super likes. And for booking readings with me, if you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I'll never message you for a reading. They are 40% off until the end of August 2024, so check that out if you feel called to. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. If this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader, do whatever makes you happy. you got to keep in mind that thousands of people are watching, so not every message is going to resonate for you. Okay, but it is my intention that it feels like a personal baby. You know what I'm saying. But, you know, if it doesn't, do what you gotta do. Watch another power, watch another reading, watch another reader. You know, I ain't gonna be mad at you, boo. I ain't gonna be mad at you. So, pile number three is current energy. Wow. Beautiful. I'm hearing that song by Pharrell. I think it's Pharrell 111. Beautiful. I just want you to know that you're my favorite girl. Oh, yeah, there's something about you. I don't know. I don't even who what i know it's pharrell but like who, i don't know whose song that is uh who else because he's featured on it but he's not like it's not you know i don't fucking know okay i gotta fix this like camera angle because i swear i'd be putting the cards crooked and shit it is what it is y'all don't stress it's okay be blessed <laughs> all right you are releasing stress and anxiety and fear because every time i see this balloon it makes me think of that clown yeah, you're stepping into your power sovereignty. Some of y'all could have red or blonde hair, heavy blonde hair, or you could have highlights. Um, anyway, or you want to dye your hair that color, do it. But you're about to start blossoming and blooming, and the magic is about to triple, quadruplify into your life. Okay, things, miracles are going to be happening very rapidly. Every day, you're going to experience some kind of new miracle also some type of new level up because you're quantum leaping through the portal you're getting the harvest with all this corn too okay it's going to be like you're harvest harvesting a field of corn huge field of corn okay and it's going to be amazing okay so much love is going to be coming into your life not just self-love this is love from the universe love from random strangers love from your loved ones love from a lover some of y'all could be manifesting love or a deeper love in your connections but there is this emphasis on like your patience is finally paying off your prioritization of yourself and you letting go of certain obligations and things that you know were no longer serving you or things that you know you needed to stop investing in that is what's going to 
propelled or has propelled this okay we have nine energy and six energy and three 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 as well coming through it's like you close something out because you were divinely guided to and you're putting your energy into yourself or into other things that actually serve you or people or whatever it is and the universe is about to bless you abundantly with a massive return on the energies that you put out you put a lot of good out into the universe you always do your best. You always leave things better than you came. Okay? You always do think of others before you think yourself of well. You always think of others before you think of yourself. But like you also did stop that because you're prioritizing prioritizing self-love, but you're not selfish. Nor will you ever be selfish, okay? Even if people try to call you selfish and stuff like that, just know that maybe they're mad and because you you have a boundary. There's nothing wrong with boundaries, okay? You having boundaries is not making you selfish because you are still spreading your love and joy and making the world a better place. And it's more than they can say that they're doing. So I don't know, maybe they're just projecting because they're selfish or something like that. Have you noticed like a lot of people who lie end up thinking or cheat? They think their partners are doing that when in reality they're the ones who are doing it. And the reason that they think that is because they're doing it. It's that kind of logic. Like you're going to notice like what people say to you, it's literally their logic. Like it's them. that They're saying that because they're putting their projections onto you. A lot of people project onto you so just be aware of that because i guess that's coming out because that could be happening to you shortly like maybe someone gets mad because you have boundaries with them and uh you know you're patient with these people but it's like at some point you just gotta end it if these people keep projecting their shit onto you because th their shit is not your shit their shit is not your responsibility you can only bring the horse to the water but you can't make the horse drink the water so if these people don't want to drink the water then let you know it is what it is that's their choice if they want to go through this drought or if they want to you know what i'm saying be thirsty or dehydrated or whatever um so if that resonates at all let's get into your reading all right we're gonna use three different decks okay two written and then this what's the tea to see what's good what's what what happens to um people when they do pile three dirty what happens to these people oh if that card comes out oh Oh, oh, okay. Excuse me. What happens to these people when they do pile three dirty? Ah, uh, holy shit! That's too much. Come here. But there's one more. Oh, and. Okay, that's it. Bottom of the deck, why uh, <laughs> Why are y'all going to have the most out of every single um, thing? We have divination abuser. So what happens to these people who do you dirty, they become with, obsessed with divination in regards to either trying to do things towards you or just read on your energy constantly. And it's kind of similar to another pile of very obsessed energy. And um, they end up hurting their own feelings because what they think is going to happen is like they think that you're going to like what's going to come out is like you're miserable or you're going through this or you're going through that. When in reality, that's not that's not the case. So we have legal issues, court, judges, immigration, lawyers. So they end up going through some kind of legal issues. Some of them may get sued. Some of them may um, do some bad things in regards to they get caught, they go to jail. Now they have court and they have to pay reparations or, you know, pay big fines. It's giving like stuff like that. Like, I don't know what they did, but some of them did something legal, illegal, okay? Or maybe they have a court, a lot more court issues, or maybe they lost their court case because they did you dirty, okay? Someone's doing magic on you, and they can't. It backfires on them every single time. Someone's trying to do magic on you because they're holding a grudge, okay? With this a lot of candles over here, divination. What's the card on this deck? Yeah, this person hates that you're happy. I don't know what card that is irrelevant you have one specific person who hates that you're happy and they try to do magic on you and ends up backfiring on them like it's like they they really don't understand how you know justice works <laughs> running your health improves similar to the pile you end up improving your health it's like these people do you dirty and then it's like you run away you move on you end up seeing the sun Instead of like focusing on the rain, you see the rainbow, you see the light, and you move on and you manifest, okay? 
some of them got robbed but also it says physical and emotional so some people feel robbed by you after they do you dirty they feel worse than you do because they end up feeling robbed because they end up again they played themselves they played themselves and some of them you know you will never run towards them you will always constantly run away from them some of them actually did get robbed though so we have boss daddy okay stable rich business owner ceo big d energy some of y'all you just do better you just do way better bro you just end up some of y'all again similar to the pile you 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 end up being a boss you end up making more money you end up stepping up you end up getting lucky maybe some of y'all won the lottery some of you guys got a big sum of income there's something about that maybe you got a new job they con this is why they abuse divination for some of you because they you move in silence after they did you dirty you disappeared off the face of the earth now you're running and you're not wasting any time you're moving on you're in this big d energy doing your damn thing and um these people are stuck they end up having no changes they waste time they sit there they they just continuously hold this grudge complain try to look into your energy okay they are so bothered they end up becoming more and more bothered more and more threatened and they end up becoming more and more intimidated by you because the more that they try to do especially those who are trying to do like magic on you not everybody is you know you have like one specific person who may be trying to do that shit onto you and that's only for like one of you and obviously no weapons formed against you shall prosper but it's like they end up biting off more than they can chew we have bankrupt yeah these people someone lost a house someone lost a house someone lost um, a car okay karmic friends they end up surrounding themselves with people who are karmic they end up having tension between their friends they end up manifesting people who are in secret competition with them they end up manifesting connections with their enemies they end up getting rejected by jobs by people people just keep rejecting them and rejecting them because they did some shit to you now they're just a groupie and they have to watch you have groupies because everybody loves you pod three and this person hates that this person becomes more and more unhappy because it's like they want others to see you the way that they see you and it's just not possible it's just not possible because they ain't shit no I'm just kidding. but like yeah they becoming shit they really becoming shit and they end up becoming more and more karmic more and more toxic more and more unhealthy okay their life because th this obsession with you becomes very dangerous for their mental physical and emotional health and they end up manifesting wolves in sheep's clothing like they end up, end up manifesting karmic friends and people who end up doing the same shit if not fucking worse um to them okay let's see what we can get from this first written deck what happens to the people who do some of them get like scars and like stuff like that someone maybe had to have surgery because they had some kind of crazy shit happen to them like appendix burst or like something like that you know what i'm saying they had to have like a, an emergency surgery okay and uh now they have a scar okay so let's see what happens to the people who do part in pile three excuse me see this i'll see it where did it go let go of the past don't repeat the lesson these people end up repeating lessons over and over again and you will never repeat that you let go of the past okay we have lady nada divine love authentic okay you end up becoming more authentic your heart keeps opening you heal your inner child you heal from this you moved on and you end up finding divine love some of y'all you know you end up finding really good friends supportive friends friends that would never be them okay you end up finding people who you can trust people with good tea end up spending time doing new hobbies and hanging out with people and having good laughs no gossip shit like if it's tea it's tea but it's like y'all don't complain you just talk you vent you do what you need to do look at that coffee and tea lover jesus some of y'all could be a coffee and tea lover 
uh, this person could have been or these people we have curly hair you could have curly hair we have crooked teeth missing teeth so maybe something happens to their teeth okay because of them doing you dirty all right we have visualization so there's this emphasis on what they're trying to manifest may especially if it's like them visualizing bad things happening to you it ends up kind of like happening to them we have you need to rest insomnia sleep issues burnout like these people go through burnout these people end up feeling exhausted insomnia they have nightmares they end up having sleep issues looking more drained bags under their eyes we have slim thick so some of you guys could be slim thick or you end up slimming down or thickening up in the right places and that is like what happens when people do you dirty is like your body changes just for the better we have clean your room so maybe their room becomes unclean but maybe some of you actually do need to clean your room we have gaslighting yourself so these people they end up um gaslighting themselves okay going through imposter syndrome going through heavy mental issues we have buddha enlightenment rebirth closing cycles okay so you're a teacher for them and that's what happens is you end up going through a rebirth and these people end up having to either have a really rude awakening okay a pleasant surprise is on the way so some of you guys this is like a pleasant surprise is definitely on the way for you but also it's like you end up getting surprised in more and more pleasant ways this person could have had thin eyebrows or you do we have you are supported and you are protected no weapon formed against me shall prosper and it says choose faith over fear bro cannot make this up these people really try to get you rave techno festivals okay so maybe you end up going out partying exploring again hobbies trying new things living your best life what happens is you end up living your best life and these people are ended up wasting time stuck stagnant you you moved on they don't even know who you are anymore like they don't okay elder they end up aging okay they end up like getting more grays or just looking more old we have cancer so they could be a cancer we have more money coming in new job literally more clients lump sum inheritance more sales like that's what i was talking about boss daddy like you end up making more money open house realtor these per people lose jobs because we had bankrupt okay some of them had to file for bankruptcy and it's like you end up getting more and more money like you may have moved to a new house we have olive skin so you or them could have olive skin we have be careful who you tell your business to trader gossip snake they don't care they end up manifesting again this karmic friends they end up manifesting who don't care who end up snaking them gossiping about them and all this other stuff so they're going through it like everything that you went through they're going through it but 10 times worse they thought like they thought they were exempt from sh sh uh shit like that situations like that marathon so some of you guys maybe want to run a marathon that's so random um we have dark skin so you could be dark skin too we have qigong so some of you guys you really focused on your energy and you ended up cleansing we have green eyes as well could be coming through so you or them could have green eyes dreads too coming through hex breaker so you ended up breaking the hex so someone definitely tried to do magic on you someone or prayed against you somebody really wished you darkness and you released that karma and now it's like you live rent free in their life we have fourth house family um roots okay someone maybe have tried to do root work on you you became private you let go of your past okay it's like these people their emotions are shot they cry or go through anger or just their emotions fluctuate they're dri driving themselves crazy okay they may have lost their home okay maybe their family is having issues like they're fighting with people or whatever it is okay fighting with their kids side quest that's so random maybe you have a side quest coming up soon okay where you're gonna go on a little trip a little mini trip um but also it's like you're like a side quest to these people they really like are obsessed because with the obsessive lover still poke it out it's like they're obsessed so every day they make it a little random side quest to check in on you to watch you to do whatever it is we have eyeliner winged eyeliner this person could have eyeliner we have stocky build they could be stocky or have a stocky build or became stocky we have leo they could be a leo we have eyelash or i, I mean eyelash nose or eyebrow piercing <laughs> what the fuck eyelashes we have waves so like waves like uh actual waves but also it's giving like the hair waves so maybe they had waves or you have waves and it says speak your truth <sighs> 
if somebody asks you about this person or these people, you're going to speak your truth. And what's going to happen is this person's going to be exposed that they were a wolf in sleep sheep's clothing. Or maybe you did speak your truth and now people are acting different around this person or these people. And they didn't know it that you spoke your truth and they tried to keep this perpetual story going on about like what they want people to know about the situation. And then it's like because they didn't think you were going to talk about it, but you did. Or you're going to but in a way that you're not talking shit you know you're just like yeah it is what it is you know some of y'all could have waist beads okay let me just let me just clean this up real quick and then we are gonna get into the other deck real fast and then get into your tarot and close you out let's see what else marrying for money someone may marry them for money or may have married them for money and then they're gonna like that's why they became bankrupt and a lot of people are talking shit about this person or these people but like someone may have married them for their money and maybe they didn't get a prenup and now it's like they're getting drained <laughs> or they're getting a divorce or something about that all right what happens when people do pile three dirty Okay, you want me to, you want me to take it? One more. Okay, and we have, it's a cult vibe. Do your own research. People end up doing their own research and finding out that, you know, this, these people are, fuck people, bro. Like, they, they, they did some fuck shit. And some of them end up becoming engulfed in a cult that's random okay we have a life of luxuries coming in single independent sexy so some of you guys this could be about your ex and then it's like you're just single and living your best life happy and these people could have been in unhappy relationships or they manifested it's like when they left you or did you dirty they ended up going to somebody else thinking that it would be better and now it's like whatever they did to you in this relationship it's getting done to them and you're over here living a like a life of luxury and you're happy sing single independent singing with joy we have no decision is a decision someone's not following their heart and not making a choice again this rejection energy and it's like they get stuck in static stagnant and they avoid um their emotions and they're unable to feel and move through life they end up becoming numb this is tough. Jesus Christ. Um, we have your patience is being tested. Stay strong. It is worth it. The, you, you planted your seeds. Water as needed. Just don't become stagnant or complacent. Yeah, literally. Like, we have stagnant stalemate. Like, they just become... And we had stagnant wasting time earlier. Like, they just become stagnant. Complacent. They don't invest in themselves. They become very irritable and impatient and start fights with people. And then everyone's like, I don't want to be around this person. They're so aggy. They're so agitated. They're so, ugh. Like, they're easily triggered. And it's like, people just don't want to be around that. We have judgment. Another spiritual awakening is happening. Someone is judging you harshly. People begin to judge them harshly the same way that they judged you harshly. Or the way they wanted people to judge you harshly because they made up lies. Okay? But also, you are constantly going through a spiritual awakening. And you keep on leveling up. And these people don't they just stay stagnant we have star you can't hide your shine the more you heal the more blessings you will receive which is what happened like you healed you moved on you let these people get their own karma and now it's like you can't hide your shine you became this local celebrity or you're going viral for some of you if you're a content creator there's something about you just getting a lot of success and being seen this person has to see you on social media you're getting blessed by the universe universe okay uh we have emperor you are a leader it's time to step up father wound someone is trying to run your life and control you so these people um someone it could have been a father for some of you but um it's like you stepped up you moved on you regulated yourself you took um over your life you took authority for your actions you don't let anyone control you anymore and now it's like these people or this person is like they're getting controlled like someone's bullying them and like manipulating them it's giving like duh, i don't know that word duh, uh um dictator sorry wow that took a lot <laughs> they end up getting surrounded by dictators and they don't live their their life for themselves they just get bossed around and bullied by people now because of what they did um hidden dishonor wow these people get dishonored uh dis dis 
disowned is coming through as well we have someone is moving funny behind the scenes don't trust them you can no longer wait run away from the truth of the situation so what happens after these people do you dirty they try to blame you and then at, sooner or later they see the truth of the situation they go through another spiritual awakening and they realize that they judged you harshly or they were they, they end up taking accountability for themselves but it does take a little bit of a while they like they like lied to themselves but also they end up manifesting people who move funny behind the scenes the way that they did right or the people in their life, they start moving funny behind the scenes because they don't trust them anymore and they don't want to be around them because, again, they're irritable, they're anxious, they're angry, they're just weird. And we have solitude and lone wolf, so they end up moving alone. You know what I'm saying? Not by choice, but because everyone leaves their life because they end up becoming miserable. Um, but it says it's time to go in your mind palace and see why you're getting triggered shadow work You need to spend time alone. So this, these people just end up spending time alone Some of them end up doing the shadow work and you know healing from this and you know going on a Introspection kind of vibe and then others of them they You know, but I feel like a lot of growth happens to these people because we have like The truth you can't run away from the truth. The truth slaps them in the face and they have a hard uh, reality check. We have three of wands. Your vacation or trip will become successful. So you end up traveling. You end up, you know, going through positive successes after success. You stay consistent with your dreams. You possibly could get flown out or you've gotten flown out. Okay. After like people did you dirty, unexpected miracles come to you. We have Ten of Pentacles. Stability for you and your family is coming in. So you and you will leave behind a legacy. You are creating generational wealth. You're gaining stability for you and your family. And you are creating a legacy. And these people are stuck and stagnant. We have your partner is jealous of you. So these people end up manifesting people who are jealous, possessive, obsessed. And they end up letting their whole life become cluttered and kind of messy i heard hoarders so some of them become hoarders after doing you dirty because we have room car house is cluttered as fudge but that also could be your energy and maybe you need to declutter and then we have someone wants to propose a wedding is in your future or you're going to an, a wedding so so you guys you ended up getting married you ended up manifesting your dream partner for others of you guys that will be what's happening in the future and maybe you're you have a wedding coming soon so let's get into your tarot to close you out okay this is going to be really quick because a lot of it is just we already discussed a lot uh we have the four of coins in the reverse the four of wands the son of coins the four of baskets uh this, this well calm down <laughs> um the ten of baskets some of them may get a speech impediment or something happens with the way that they talk or something like that it's like their voice gets deeper because i'm hearing miley cyrus's voice like how deep it got out of nowhere which <laughs> like something about their voice and they become insecure about their voice i feel like their insecurities become worse when people do you dirty it's like what they didn't like about themselves becomes the main focus gets highlighted becomes worse for them okay um anyway we have the ten of baskets the five of coins in the reverse and then we have the eight of knives which is the eight of swords the daughter of coins in the reverse which is the knight of no, it's the page of pentacles and then the sun in the reverse. Moral of the story is, is doors get closed in their face. They end up losing jobs. They may have gotten fired from a job. Um, they end up becoming more anxious, feeling more trapped, feeling helpless, feeling hopeless. It's like they lose all hope and um, they really don't see the sun anymore. They get a little negative. They start having to look at themselves in the mirror and they don't like what they see. Especially if like they start breaking out. There's something about them breaking out or becoming more wrinkled, having more wrinkles, more frown lines. Because they have like the Scrooge face on constantly okay it's like there's something about maybe their hair like falling out too or like their hair becoming all matted or something about their hair just really like you know getting butchered uh bald spots is coming through as well um but they miss out on opportunities the people who were holding them up and helping them out or loving them unconditionally let go of them because they start to see the truth of them as well because they end up becoming toxic and these people don't want to be stuck around unhappiness they end up going through divorces relationships leave them their family leaves them people let go of them people don't want to focus on on the negativity anymore they end up becoming really alone and all they have is themselves and their negativity in this mirror okay they end up losing balance with themselves 
themselves they end up missing out on opportunities after opportunities and it's just like they can't get themselves out of this this cycle what happens is they have to see you sitting at the table filled with blessings filled with excitement while they feel lack they feel less than they feel like they're missing out and your finances end up fixing themselves there's something about your finance these people try to affect your finances and it had nothing it may have hit you for a little bit maybe you went through a little hard period a hard time or you got hit with extra bills or something like that or you were making less client uh less money or whatever it is you went through like a, a rough patch with money and then it's like you're coming out of that or it didn't affect your happiness because you're like money isn't everything you knew you was going to be okay and that really pissed them off too especially if they were conscious of that and saw that it's like they were just so mad and now it's like their money's getting getting hit their mental is getting hit they're like looking at them more negatively it's like their concept of positive self-talk is gone all they do is talk negatively about themselves three 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 they're not listening to their guides they're not following their intuition they don't see things clearly they're looking through um really just black colored glasses all right yeah so um it, my battery died so also it's just like they go through some kind of drainage their energy is depleted no matter how much they sleep they're just tired it's like winter for them every day it's just a lot of things going on things start breaking okay it's like <laughs> their their phone maybe breaks things in their room their home break their car breaks down their whole life breaks down it's just they lose connection from their soul and um because they let the darkness win the darkness consumed them or they got hit with darkness because they were putting out darkness consciously especially if they were doing uh magic on you Whew. um but yeah that's what we're gonna call it i just had to like i was like whoa we just cut off and i want to just leave it at that okay guys i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye